hello everyone welcome back to the channel uh, today we are going to be replacing the bulbs on my 2012 Sentra right here this is a special edition 2012 uh, Sentra and the fog lights both of them for some reason stop working at the same time these are factory installed fog lights they work for I don't know like 12 years and then all of a sudden they just stopped working both of them so I thought maybe it's a fuse since they both stopped working I checked the fuses and the relay they are all fine so I thought maybe just a coincidence both uh, bulbs burnt at the same time so um, the conclusion is uh, replace the bulbs and see what happens um, now replacing the fog, fog bulbs is a little bit more tricky than the um, headlight bulbs uh, let's see I had it here I'm gonna show you in the manual here owner's manual yeah so it tells you here let me put this here. it says headlight is H13 and fog lights will be H11 LL so I bought this one from a brand name called sea light from Amazon and I'm trying to remember how much that was. <laughs> I want to say $20, $25 for this. Um, this is from Amazon. Uh, I've used their lights before for my Pathfinder and they are still working fine after over two years now. Um, they're fine. So I went with the Sea Light brand and this is H13, this is H11. Um, comes in a baggie. And because these, if everything works out, will be too bright i suspect the turning signal may not be bright enough for it to be seen on the other side the drivers on the other side they won't see it so i thought i'm gonna replace the turning signal bulbs as well with led ones these are brand name ala um, i've used them before but it didn't work out they were blinking fast um, this was two years ago a little over two years ago for my pathfinder they were blinking too fast and to fix that you would have to install a uh, what is it a resistor or something in between the bulb and the wire uh, at the time it required uh, slicing the wires and connecting them now uh, they do have a kit that they also sell from Ella that is already uh, uh, crimped You will just need to connect one end of the cable to the bulb, the other end to the connector on the car, and it will be in between and it fixes that issue without slicing anything, or splicing, not slicing. They call it splicing the wires. So I'm gonna try them without that kit. If they are blinking too fast, then I'm gonna order the kit as well and add that in between and see if that fixes it. But I'll keep you updated on that. So that is uh, what we're gonna do. Step one, get the bulbs, make sure they are correct ones. Step two, I got the car up in here. So the, of course the, <clears throat> I've got the hood open and everything. Um, the headlight bulb and the turn signal bulb are easily accessible through here. Oh, no. So there is the turning signal bulb and there is the head bulb, headlight bulb. Now the fog light is below there and I have to go underneath it to remove some screws and try to get to it. So I'm gonna try that and see what happens. So I'll let you know. Okay, so for the fog lights, I got under the vehicle and there were three Phillips head screws right there. They are the type that uh, is used for plastic pieces. So it was uh, one here, one there, and another one back there. So I removed them all three, and I'm gonna pull this out. And if I, if you look inside, let's see, I, I need two hands for this. Here you go. So this wire here, 
that is the bulb there. So I will need two hands to get into there and replace the bulb. So I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be able to do a video on it. But if you are doing this, you will know what I mean. You will need two hands to do this. So uh, just wanted to show you that. Um, this is the right side, the passenger side uh, bulb. All right. All right, so I took it out. I took one out. Uh, this is the fog bulb. From factory it says on it H11 and it's a made in Germany bulb this is how it looks like it was a little bit difficult to get that one on the passenger side because it looks like the washer fluid tank is right there next to it so it was hard to remove I'm hoping the one on the driver side will be easier uh, to do uh, let me take one of these out I can't do it with one hand Okay, so here is the replacement. It looks exactly the same in terms of the base size, but the bulb size, of course, you can see it's much beefier. It has LED, uh, it has LED diodes on all directions and in the front. So we'll see. Once I put this on, I'm gonna test it and see if it was really the bulb that was not working. Um, and then we'll go from there. All right. Okay, so I've got the headlights on. See this one, the fog light is off because it's a bulb thing. And here is this one before I even put it in. See the bulb is out. Oh, they turned off. Hold on. The bulb turned on earlier, so let me see. I think it turns on automatically. Turns off automatically. Hold on. They turn off automatically in case you forgot them, so which is good. But here is the bulb, it's on, very bright. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on and call it a successful operation. I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side, the passenger side, I mean driver side, and then we'll do the headlights later. So guys, uh, after a lot of uh, tries, I finally got it in. There is the new bulb in there and it's working. Uh, let me show you what the obstacle was. Maybe you can do the same thing. So, the obstacle was the whole time. This cable, this wire. Ow. It's not focusing. Okay. This cable was attached to the washer fluid tank and when I'm putting the bulb in and trying to fit it in, it's a fatty bulb anyway so it wouldn't fit easily. But this cable was in the way because it was up there and when I'm trying to push the bulb in it was in the way so I had to break this clip and remove the cable out of the way and uh, the bulb fit in fine turned it on everything is good now I'm gonna put the zip tie in here and attach the cable back to where it was even if I did it it's no big deal it's just dangling but I'm just gonna attach it I'm already here why not do it so just wanted to mention that all right I removed the cover here under the fog light for the passenger uh, driver side and look at that so much space so this is going to be an easy one I can tell so I think uh, you just turn it let me see if I can do it oh. and there my light went <laughs> just basically turn it to the Once you turn it, it comes out like this, and we'll replace it, put the new one in, and it should be good.
Okay, so here is the original bulb from factory. focus and apparently it's a Sylvania bulb H13 still works nothing wrong with it just uh, going to put LEDs instead so this looks like it comes with a harness to install and some zip ties and all that stuff Oh. <laughs> well, I need to take the whole thing out. All right. Ah, let me use two hands. This is difficult with one hand. All right, so this is the original. And here is the replacement. And this one is the one that has a fan. So I'm guessing the fan will turn on whenever the light is heated. Otherwise it doesn't turn on. I already installed one. Um, now I'm gonna do the turn signal bulb and see if that, uh, just something quick to mention is, here is the original. And it's just like that so that orange tab you will need to put a, a flathead screwdriver in there and push it out for the connector to be released and then you remove the bulb when you put the new one in it has an extra length cable so it will sit like this so you'll insert it and mine didn't go all the way in but I don't think it's a big deal I pushed it as hard as I can and then I pushed the orange tab here and that seems to be secure enough so i'm gonna let it sit like this for a while and see what happens if it needs to be zip tied or anything i will do that but i don't think i will need to i can zip tie it here just to keep it out of the way but i may not so now we'll do the uh, turn signal bulb which is this one here so they are all like twist out you twist them half a half a turn and then you move move them out or a quarter turn all right okay i wanted to show the orange tab and how you can release it so you can remove the uh, connector harness and then the bulb ah, man there you go so you just put the screw flathead screwdriver there and you just kind of Pull it out like so. And now this green connector can be removed from the bulb and then you can remove the bulb. All right, so I removed the bulb here, the turning signal bulb. And this is it, the original one. It is also Sylvania. And it says on the back some information. And this is the replacement for it. Looks exactly the same in, time, in terms of the base. Um, this is supposed to be blinking uh, um, amber. So, we'll see. All right, I'm gonna plug it in and put it in place and see how it goes. Even before I put it in, I'm gonna, I mean, put it in the housing, I'm gonna turn it, the signal on and see how it goes. Okay, so I installed the bulb and now let's turn on the hazard lights. Since the engine is off, it's not going to uh, turn the turn signal on. And it's blinking properly. It's very bright. very bright for sure um, I'm gonna turn the um, engine to the on position 
Um, and let's see now with the signal on. And I can tell it's hyper flashing already from there. It is doing the hyper flashing. So I'm going to have to figure out why and fix it. So I'm going to put this bulb in the housing and I'm going to just live with this if I can't fix it, but I'm going to look into it. So guys, I know I mentioned it pre in the previous clips that uh, they have a kit that is already crimped and everything like load resistors, but I was wrong that that picture was in the listing, but actually it was after it was completed. So you would need to make it. So just like back to square one, you will get the resistors with wires and you will need to splice into yours, into your electrical system that is uh, for the bulb that you want to fix. In my case will be the blinkers generally. Um, and you do that. So I didn't want to do that. Uh, in my mind, I just didn't want to introduce an additional, um, something additional to the vehicle electrical system. Uh, and uh, eventually maybe causing an issue that otherwise the system is working fine. Then I will introduce something new to it that would cause it to malfunction. So I just didn't want to do that. Um, so I emailed the company, this one here, I emailed them. They responded back very nicely within 24 hours. And they told me, they gave me options to um, view the resistor, load resistors and do that to fix the problem. And they also told me about another bulb they have that is they call canvas that has the resistors included in it already. But that was like forty dollars for two of them, so I thought that was just a lot of a lot of money for just a couple of bulbs that otherwise you can buy for five six dollars. So um, I just couldn't do the forty dollar one. I just couldn't justify it. So I didn't want to do the resistors. Didn't want to pay forty dollars for the canvas bulbs. So I went back and I got the standard bulbs that are for this vehicle from Advanced Auto Parts. I just went there and picked up a, a, a pair and put them in and now it's functioning, functioning right. Um, a side note, when I was, I drove it one day with, without the resistor and it was driving me crazy. The, the hyper flashing, the blinking too fast was driving me crazy. So I couldn't, I couldn't you know, live with it. So I, I changed it to the standard bulb and now you can see here it's working properly no problem i'm here at my favorite store lowe's <laughs> um but yeah so I, I i even bought this one here thinking maybe this one will work uh same thing it didn't work they fit nicely they they uh they light up amber they didn't work i mean they do hyper flashing as well so I'm going to return these two. I already told the company, thank you so much for your advice, but I will be returning these items back and everything. So they, they were re really nice. So I'm going to return them. But uh, let's look at the lights now when the, when the lights are on. So right now um, I have the lights off. Let me turn them on. Okay, let me turn the lights on. Okay, lights are on, let's look. Very bright. Very bright, I like it very much. So, 
Yeah, the visibility has improved uh, while driving. I can see very well uh, now since I got the new LED bulbs installed. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, so that is it, guys. And that concludes the video. Um, if you have any questions, of course, leave them in the comment section below and I will respond back to you. Um, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And I thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.